All right, guys, we're uh, at Texas Card House Dallas. Um, came here last week and had a great time. Played some uh, cash and a uh, $600 buy-in tournament that was uh, the Poker Atlas payday. Uh, 250K guarantee. Ended up having um, almost a half a million in the prize pool. So when you walk in here, uh, you come in and you check in at the at the front here. It's nice. They've got um, a nice little lounge going on over in the back too. So when you come in, you check in and and uh, get on some of the lists, and then you go into their nice, spacious room. That's where they do their live stream over here. And then uh, the ladies here will take care of you uh, with the uh, refreshments. And they got a, a bring your own bottle policy, so you can bring alcohol. Um, they don't sell it at the moment, but it's a really, really nice room, guys. So I'm here with Lorena and Lauren. Lauren. And uh, these are our Texas Card House hostesses. Uh, if you look in the background, they've got uh, lots of cool amenities. And if you like to have a drink or two while you're playing poker, uh, just bring your bottle along and they will be happy to pour you a drink. Yeah. Right? Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Victor, um, I'm OP poker player. Uh, I uh, go around the country um, to different poker rooms and casinos. Uh, kind of a passion of mine. Cool. I've been playing poker for about 15 years. And uh, I had a chance to come down last weekend uh, to play some poker awesome. and wasn't even aware that you guys had your uh, Poker Atlas payday tournament going. Oh, okay. So that was a nice surprise. Sure. And I got a chance to get into one of the day one flights, unfortunately busted, but had a lot of fun. Good. And I was very surprised at the immense amount of uh, response that you guys got uh, for that tournament. Um, so just a little bit of a background of myself and my experience here at Texas Card House. So why don't you tell me about yourself and uh, pretty much anything you'd like to about Texas Card House that you'd like uh, the OK Poker Player viewers to know. Yeah, uh, well, so I know Texas Card House uh, going about two years now. So uh, I started off in the awesome location. Uh, I started off as kind of just dealing and helping out with Kate and some operations. Um, I was kind of resetting my, my career path a little bit. I wanted to get to Texas somehow or another. Yeah. I uh, had an opportunity to jump in there and, you know, kind of work my way through the ranks really quick. And uh, I have some previous management experience. I've uh, done stuff in uh, the Horseshoe Casino in Baltimore as well okay. as stuff at Calder Casino in Florida. Um, I've been in pretty much every role I can think of in the poker world. I've been a chip runner, I've been a brush, I've done cage and everything in between, management, supervising, jewelry, all that stuff. Awesome. Um, so, but it's all been in a corporate level, so when I got the opportunity to come with Texas Card House and, and see something from a kind of a, you know, I call it a mom and pop style, even though we're, we're getting pretty big now. We're, we're getting but way more social than than what you'd find in a casino, right? Very much so, yeah. I mean, that's and, why they call it a social club. Literally, that's that's the, the word really is definitive of the actual, like, you know, what, what we do here. It is socializing. Yeah. It's not about a big that casino that's you know trying to get slot machines shoved in every corner and everything like that which so. is wonderful not having to hear that sound when you're playing poker a lot of poker rooms of course you know are sitting right next to those uh one-armed bandits and yeah they, 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 they can love, be distracting they love to throw them right on the edge of the the room and all that stuff so but yeah so it's cool to just kind of get part of something that's genuinely poker you know they're, they're, all decisions are poker related you know, there's nothing that gets derived by you know these other departments and you know uh um, Spots and, and you know, table games, which you know, for the casino world, those are wonderful, and you know, they all have a part in, in that whole operation. Mm -hmm. But here in Texas, it's great seeing just pure poker. You know, right. So, uh, so, how long has uh, Texas Card House Dallas been open? Uh, we opened in October, so we're getting close mm -hmm. to that year mark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's eight months now. Flying, yeah, flying by pretty quick. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Every time I think about when we opened, I go, "Wow, that was eight months ago. Holy crap! Like it feels like it was yesterday." And you guys yeah. have, in my opinion, one of the coolest live streams it's <laughs> of any poker room in America. It's the 10 25 50 game is one of the most amazing poker games I've seen spread anywhere. They, they have some action on that oh, game, I will say. Definitely. That. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, 
the the word on the street is dildo for president. <laughs> So, oh yeah, it's a uh, it, it's an entertaining stream. To definitely, say the least. Uh, definitely. Uh, I will say that game caught me by surprise. You know, we, we wanted something big, a lot of action, and uh, you know, based on my chip order that we did for the you know property before we started, I you know, thought we would be fine for chips for for a while, and uh, got to about the second or third stream, and uh, come my cage guys go big. We don't have any more big chips, and I go, what do you mean? Right. Go, They're all over there. I said, oh yep. crap. So yeah. I started paying attention to that. I was like, oh man, we got to get some more chips. Yeah, Dildo kind of kind of uh, dominated all the uh, plaques, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he made my plaques go to use. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Had the little uh, 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 great wall of, of uh, Texas Cardhouse plaques. Yeah, they, they going on. They, they got their their uh, debut on that stream for sure. I was uh, I actually designed those plaques myself, so it was kind of cool to see them out in use. And I was like, all right, cool. Now you guys have five thousand dollars plaques too, right? Uh, we're actually ordering them, so we're actually switching up. I believe we're going to go to oversized chips instead of plaques. Since oh, okay. The, since the use of the chips are actually being used in a in a a more large bedding fashion. Mm -hmm. So usually plaques are designed to be kind of a, a two to three item type of thing. You want. Right. In that stream, we're going to need a, a little more arsenal to buy. Definitely. So, so something like cranberries in, in Vegas? Some, but, some to that extent, yeah. We'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we, 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 that, that ball's already uh, in motion, so hopefully right. we'll see those soon. But, yeah. So tell me, uh, what are the most common games that are spread here in Texas Card House? Uh, mainly we do uh, one, two, which is a one to three hundred dollar buy-in, pretty standard across the board. Mm -hmm. you know, most places are going to have something very similar to that. Uh, our two five is a little unique. We actually do a uh, two hundred to a thousand dollar buy-in, but we also allow them to buy up to the biggest stack of the table. Yep. Uh, so that generates a lot of action for our two five. Absolutely. And, um, at first, you know, I, I wasn't sure how the community was going to kind of take it, but it's kind of taken its own identity at this point. They they love it. I can tell you from having played those games. Um, that the the two five uh, uh, high high stack cap team is uh, is very fun. It's yeah, it, it creates a very good game. You know, it does. It, it allows for those that you know kind of get stuck a little bit to, to get unstuck very yep. easily, and because of that, creates a lot of uh, a lot of action. Absolutely, and, um, and, and 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 quite honestly, it plays more like uh, a five ten with a lot of uh, straddles. <laughs> Some of them can get a little uh, amplified a little bit. It's so. fun though. So, uh, from a perspective of um, tournaments, um, what are your regular tournaments that you usually run here? Uh, so we do a few tournaments. So we, we do a pretty much tournament every day with the exception of Fridays. Mm -hmm. um, we do one Saturday. It's a uh, 365 10K guarantee, but we overly do that pretty much every every time. Right. Um, Kind of one of those things we haven't really changed much about our tournament teams because it's doing so well. So mm -hmm. like, it's not broke, don't fix it. So right. I didn't want to start changing things. If you know, once I see some numbers start, you know, maybe leveling out a little bit, then we'll maybe you know, spice you know, spice it up a little bit with changing the structure or maybe the, the buy-in amounts or you know, any of that type of stuff. But right now we're doing really well. Uh, but we have a tournament every day. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday are all our daytime tournaments, mm -hmm. uh, and then Tuesday nights and Thursday nights are our nighttime tournaments. Uh, the Tuesday night is the bounty tournament, which gets a lot of interest. We get about well over 100 entries almost every single night. What's the guarantee on that one? Uh, 7,500 guarantee. Uh, it's a 265 buy-in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I might. Try to go it's on the website. So <laughs> I'm all, sure if you're, all the details are on there. If but. you want to check it out, TexasCardHouse.com forward slash Dallas. Yep, and we'll so, have our calendar and all of our promotions, everything on there, details, you just click on the links, it'll take you right to everything. So. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so our tournament seems pretty well. Um, you know, we, we get pretty back during the day, so it's kind of hard to have a nice tournament every night, so that's what we just kind of limited to Tuesday and Thursday, so that, right. you know, we're not locking out a bunch of cash games during the day. So. so the week before the payday, which was uh, last week, uh, yes, correct. You guys had a, a 500,000 guarantee tournament, right? Uh, so back in April, yeah, we, we did. Oh, a, it was a, about a month before. It was that. about a month, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, we did a pretty, it was a pretty big prize pool. We had almost 1.3 million in the prize pool. It was. It you was, guys had over a thousand people in that one too, right? Yeah, we had a. I think it was about 1,800 entries, yeah, roughly. Yeah. So uh, we had all four locations involved in it. We had our Austin location, Houston. That's right. It was a statewide tournament, right? Yeah. So nice. it was uh, the first one that was done kind of like that for yep. the most part. Um, and it was interesting to see how it kind of like all transitioned into, you know, a day two being here at Dallas. Yeah. Um, kind of combining all the flights and everything. It was great because we saw a lot of uh, the other clubs involved in day two as well as, uh, I believe we had some mixture on the final table as well. So it was nice. You know, cool to see that all the clubs were a part of that tournament. You know? And that one was, that final table was televised here at the Yeah, Dallas that final location, table right? is on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to the TCH Live mm -hmm. uh, YouTube channel, you can check all the final tables that we've done in the past. And 
see kind of the action we get on those things, and um, you know, you get to see a lot of the. So your of it. your payday tournament was a 250 guarantee, but you guys blew that out of the water. Yeah, we I think we hit that by the third place roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was pretty. Pretty, and not only that, tell the viewers about some of the uh, exceptional bonuses that you had going on there. Oh, with the bag bonuses, yeah, yeah. That was the first time we've done that. So that was uh, something Payday uh, or Poker Outlet brought on board. It was just kind of their, they wanted to kind of experiment with a new style and structure, and I mm -hmm. thought it was a great idea. So we brought them on board and partnered up with them, which Poker Outlet is a great company to work with. I mean, if it wasn't for them, this operation would be 10 times harder. I think right most regular poker players use Poker Atlas and, and uh, the other app. Uh, on occasion as well, so <laughs> yeah, I've, I've worked at the uh, the the other app, and uh, I can tell you that this has got features and and benefits that just well surpass. Oh yeah, so one thing about Poker Atlas, guys, is if you uh, if you do decide to head into Texas Card House, uh, hit up Poker Atlas. If you don't have a, a subscription or ID on Poker Atlas, go ahead and sign up because you can actually sign up for a table through the app. Yep. And, uh, it's just like calling into a casino. Um, you, you get on the list so that once you once you get to uh, the casino, you, you you go from like the call in to the the regular list, and yeah, it, it helps. Super beneficial. You've got yes. options on there to be able to see the list, see who's on the list. Yep. You know, kind of see what's going on in the room in the sense of like, hey, you know, how there's 22 people on the list, but how many of them are call-ins? How many are actually there? It gives you a really good picture as to what you're getting involved in for the night. Definitely. Um, and one of the really neat features, I thought, was uh, when the internet works well. <laughs> because I know when you have a lot of people in here, it kind of tends to drag a little bit. Um, you have the ability to go on to the uh, app. You have the ability to go on to the app and um, check the tournament status and the clock. Yes, you can see all of the live updates. It's, that's, that part's my favorite part, honestly. It's best for me because we can yeah. send the text messages and stuff like that. And usually I'll just, sometimes I'll throw in a link in there yeah. and I'll just be like, hey, follow it live right now. Click on this link. You've got the actual live tournament clock. It's got the exact time left in the yep. level. You can see how much exact time is left in the registration. How many people are I can't tell you how many times in my previous uh, career where you know I was at these casinos where people were like, how much time is left? Yeah, yeah about two hours. They yeah. get there and they miss that registration by yeah. three minutes. But if they had that app, they'd be able to say, I got 28 seconds, I'm running. There you, you know? go. So, yeah. All right, well, uh, I want to thank you for your time again. Sure. Um, safe travels. I, I know you're heading down to Houston and tell those folks down in Houston that us uh, folks up here in Dallas are, are thinking about them. And um, hope you get back here soon. Appreciate it. By the way, how can I get one of those uh, nifty uh, t-shirts? These are, uh, you got to get to the club. You got to show up at the club. We got plenty of them on, on hand. This is actually uh, kind of an OG uh, uh, t-shirt. This is one that I originally got back in uh, Austin. This is before we had a lot of oh, the brands okay. going on. So now okay. we got all these locations. So most of them are going to have uh, the actual locations on there now. But this, okay. is, this is kind of my, one of my favorite. Plus, you know, kind of my favorite colors. They're, they're not available anymore? This is, a, this is a, we'll call it a discontinued item. Okay. <laughs> Hey, cool. uh, thanks again. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Howdy, y'all. Okie Poker Player here. I am sitting down with Greg. Tell me your last name. Potter. Potter. Greg Potter, yep. Greg Potter is one of the uh, announcers yep. for the live stream at Texas Card House. Yep. The big uh, cash games are me and uh, Manny, Mad Money. Yep. And if you guys haven't seen the live stream from Texas Card House, Dallas, or Austin for that matter, um, both are <laughs> some of the most live games yeah, we've so. seen online. <laughs> they're uh, they're they're pretty uh, pretty ridiculous. If yeah. you guys uh, haven't checked it out, check us out at six p.m. on Tuesdays and watch uh, watch the high stakes madness because it's yeah. it's something else. It really is. And then besides the Tuesday game here in Dallas, you guys also do a uh, Wednesday live stream. Yep. Which is a little bit of a smaller game, right? Yeah, we usually do two five with a five k cap, one k minimum, and occasionally we'll mix it up with some. Uh, Games like four card nice. and uh, five card PLO. Nice. So the uh, Saturday live stream is normally going to be the tournament, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, final table of the tournament. The 365 buy in, 10K guarantee. And it's Saturday today. It's Saturday so, today. We're on uh, the big turning now. I know you guys will probably be seeing this uh, sometime in the next few days, but uh, definitely check out Texas Card House Live, TCH Live. Uh, yeah, can't recommend YouTube. it enough, seriously. Yeah. So um, your your guys uh, Cooper and Tyler. and Tyler who help you with the live stream they were telling yep. me that uh, as far as the player pool is concerned you can go on the website 
and apply online yep. for that. The game. And they were wanting to request from people who were uh, signing up for the uh, live stream game to give them a little bit of a bio um, yeah. so that you guys, the announcers, can... So we got something to talk about. Something to talk about. Yeah, yeah, we got something. Make it interesting. Exactly. We can give a little more personality to the players that are sitting at the table. It would be uh, really informative, really helpful. And also include in that uh, a lot of contact info as well so we can reach in the way that we, we can. So there you go. Uh, TCH Live. TCH Live. Tuesday and Wednesday nights. Catch y'all later. And uh, I'll tell you what, folks. Um, Texas Card House is a live room. It's a, And I'm not just talking about from a streaming perspective. Yeah. It is a live room. A lot of action. A lot of action. Games running. We're open 24-7 now. So. How many games do they have spread right now? Well, right now most of it's taken up by the tournament. So I would say it's about half and half between tournament tables and cash games. Yeah. So we've got about 10 of each. 10 tables yeah, there's, but they're still spreading five, seven one, two, different games or something yeah, like that? Yeah, they got uh, dealer's choice, uh, five card high-low. Yeah, they got uh, the full spread up there. All right. All right, cool. Well, thank you, sir. Take care. Appreciate it.